A snowboarder enters a steep drop face, triggering an avalanche which buries him. He pulls a rope attached to his backpack, inflating an airbag. He floats to the surface. In this avalanche prevention course, the instructor explains how it works. Let's give it a go. More and more free rider guides are using airbags. Statistics show that in an avalanche, they can greatly improve survival chances. The airbag reduces the risk of being buried. This snowboarder has a big scare, but luckily emerges with no serious injuries. Peter Aschauer is the German pioneer of avalanche airbags. His company ABS has been working on them since the 1980s. But now Mammut, the Swiss sports apparel giant, has produced its own model. I'm not disappointed. Personally, I'm just surprised that Mammut doesn't do much to develop its own product. ABS has threatened the Swiss sports gear manufacturer with a lawsuit for patent infringement. We decided to make minimal changes, which we've carried out. And so our design has moved away from his patented product. The products are very similar, from the way you fill the airbag up to the cartridge instructions. They are identical to our 20-year-old system. Peter Aschauer's company in Bayern is rather small. It hasn't managed the big breakthrough in mass production. It happens quite often that people develop a very good product, but don't market it well. To be successful, you need to be strong in both development and marketing. And I think Mr. Schauer's marketing was weak. With off-piece scheme becoming more and more popular, Avalanche airbags promise to be big business for the Swiss manufacturer. In spite of the airbag's high cost, free riders are ready to invest in them. But ski mountaineering guides warn extreme skiers that even with an airbag, avalanches can kill.